Hi folks, I just wanted to show you real quick how to get started on the chapter one assignment for GIS 101. So you should already have your course data on your C drive in the GIS class folder. You get that from the link in the Canvas page um, on the course setup instructions. It's about two thirds of the way down. So first thing I'm gonna do is open ArcGIS Pro. I have it pinned in my start menu because I use it a lot. So I'm gonna open it up. Uh, this is often when I will go brew myself a cup of tea because I really like to sit down with a cup of tea, ArcGIS Pro and some good chill music and get into the GIS Zen zone. So I am signed in over here in the upper right corner. You should be signed in too. You probably won't have a whole bunch of recent projects listed like I do because I use ArcGIS Pro a lot. So now you're gonna go click open another project and it's gonna pull up this window. So you should go into your computer, into the C drive, into that GIS class folder. And I have other things in here from other classes that you won't. And then you're gonna go to class projects. And then there's Crater Lake. And then you're gonna go to craterlake.aprx. That's an ArcGIS Pro project file. Once that's highlighted, you click okay and it will open right on up. And mine is gonna look probably a little different than yours because I've been messing with mine. I do want to show you something though. Uh, I wanna show you how to do a screenshot, which is why I have a camera pointed at my gross old keyboard over here. Hopefully that will come through in the recording. So, what you want to do, once you're somewhere that you want to take a picture, you can either hit, hold down the Windows key, Shift and S, and that will do a screen snip. And you can, I like you to do the whole ArcGIS Pro window. So you can do that. And in a moment, you'll have a notification that it is saved to your clipboard other way that you can do it is with the print screen button, which on this computer says, uh, let's see, I hope I'm pointing this at the computer correctly. It's P-R-T-S-C. Sometimes they're down here at the bottom of the keyboard. Sometimes they're up kind of by the backspace and delete buttons. It just really depends. So find the print screen button on your computer it will say something that sounds a little bit like print screen, but might be abbreviated. And if you push that, it just automatically copies your entire screen. If you have two monitors, it will copy both monitors. And then you can paste that directly into your Word document. And this is not the correct thing for step 12C but this is what it will look like. And I want you to keep it full size. I do not want you to make it smaller. No, no, no. If you keep it full size, then you can actually see enough to grade it. And that really, really helps me. Um, so yeah, that is how you do it. Full size screenshots and please don't uh, use your cell phone camera to take a picture of the screen. I just can't grade it. And uh, I feel really, really bad when I have to mark somebody down who may well have done it correctly, but I just can't see it well enough to know. So anyway, at this point, you can follow Mary Beth Price's um, instructions and the tutorial in the textbook. So we do have a digital copy of the textbook here located on the uh, chapter one homework. And then there's a link to her tutorials. And I, I really cannot recommend those enough. They're just great. They, they are wonderful. So anyway, good luck and have fun, you guys.